Well, YouTube has just recently made video length up to 15 minutes for non-partners, which is a huge thing. And to actually utilize this, I thought I would make a 15 minute long video today. And this is pretty much just going to be my story, my uh, story on music, my story on YouTube, and everything along those lines. So hopefully I don't bore you too much from watching this video for 15 minutes, but this is pretty much my story. Well, just a couple of things. First of all, my name is Derek, and I am 15 years old. And overall, I've been really into a music-related family my whole life. And I grew up with music, and I've actually gone on to play music, write songs, and do stuff along those lines. Now, when I first of all started up on music, I used to listen to just music. I didn't write anything. I didn't try to play anything. But overall, after a while, I decided that I should probably try to learn something if I really, you know, care a lot about music. So when I was 10 years old, I decided that I would buy a keyboard. And this keyboard back here is the keyboard that I ended up buying. Now, I'm not going to lie right now. I do not have really any patience to start off with an instrument or to really start off with anything because I realized that if I can't really learn the keyboard that well when I first got it, I decided I would just put it down. And I did not learn how to play anything on the keyboard for the first two years that I had that keyboard. And then just one day, I pretty much picked it up and said, I'm going to learn this thing. And slowly, I started to actually learn how to play the keyboards, how to play the piano, and how to do stuff along those lines. And once you actually figure out an instrument, it's really an accomplishing factor because I remember when I used to just sit at this thing right here and just pretty much go like, what am I doing? I can't play this at all. And now actually going to knowing the chords and knowing the notes, it's a really accomplishing feeling that really ended up helping me go on to learn more musical instruments. Well, actually, after I learned the piano, I was actually taught from my brother and my dad how to play the guitar because that's the instrument that they played. And I was actually picked up an acoustic guitar. My dad actually gave me one. And I ended up trying to play that a lot. And I've really tried to grow on the guitar as well as the piano simply because I think they're two very important instruments. And I've actually recently been playing the guitar a lot for writing songs and doing stuff along those lines, even though I still play the piano a lot. And after I learned guitar, I decided that I would pick up the harmonica and the mandolin, which is something that I've been trying to play for a while now. I've never really accomplished those instruments so well, but I really am trying to learn them because I think learning a lot about music and a lot about musical instruments and stuff like that can really help you along the lines. So overall, with learning all those instruments have really helped me grow in music and helped me write music. Well, I actually just picked up my folder of songs. These are really a lot of the songs that I wrote a long time ago. These aren't recent songs, but I was actually able to go through them and find a lot of the songs that I wrote right when I was starting with writing songs. Now, even though I have a lot in this folder, I was actually able to find the first song that I really accomplished in writing and really composing, and this is called When a Moment is Lost. I never actually put this song up onto YouTube, but this was really, as I said, the first song that I went through and wrote, you know, verses, choruses that I thought were pretty well, and I actually wrote all the music towards it, and that was really the first song that I really pursued in writing. And this was actually written on the piano and the harmonica because back when I just started out writing songs, I actually didn't write songs on guitar at all, really. And now it seems like all I do is write songs on guitar because it's easier for me to do that. But this is the first song that I ever wrote. Okay, now I'm going to show you some of the other songs that I wrote right when I was starting off. This one's called One of Mine. This song is probably the corniest song I think I've ever heard. It was really just not very good. Here's a harmonica piece <laughs> harmonica solo and piano piece i used to write a lot of songs just on the harmonica and the piano i've kind of moved away from that but i think i might go back to that in a little bit c blues i don't even know what that means i played it in the key of c harmonica so that's why i call it the c blues that is that is pretty odd and this is like my country song who i am this is like such a country song it talks about like you know, like what country people would say, which is not a bad thing. I like country, but that is really the country song that I've written. And here is probably my real, you know, accomplished first song. Even though I did, you know, write that and compose it, this was the first song that I really 
you know, wrote down and tried to get the best words for it. And I worked on it for a very long time, which was not completely easy to do. Uh, this is Don't Run Away. This was actually the first original song that I put up onto YouTube. And I've actually recorded it again onto YouTube. But this was really the first song that I really sat down and said, you know, I'm going to try to write something that's professional, a little bit different. And actually, I wrote down all the words a while ago, probably like two years ago. But I think they have different words down here than what I actually say in my videos. So I've been sending like the words that aren't on here. I should probably write down the other words someday. But overall, that is pretty much the songs that I really started out in writing and the songs that I've really tried to write over the years now. Well, now the really next important thing that I've really tried to do is YouTube. And I actually, when I started hearing about YouTube a lot, I actually went on it a lot and I thought, wow, that would be just amazing to make videos onto YouTube. And that would be the greatest thing that I could do. And even when I was younger, I always wanted like a video camera to take videos and stuff like that, but I never actually pursued it. So really YouTube was just like, wow, that would be awesome if I could get on there, but I doubt I ever will. But actually one day my parents actually bought a webcam because my brother was going out to college and they wanted to talk to him on a webcam. So they bought a really cheap webcam and I remember I set it up for them and I was actually looking up on Google how to fix a webcam or how to make a webcam work. And I came across this video about quick capture on YouTube and I thought that is awesome. I can actually just set up this webcam and make a video onto YouTube. And I remember that night I created a YouTube account. I just kind of came up with the name and I ended up making videos pretty much right from the start after that. And overall, that whole summer, I pretty much devoted that to YouTube and making YouTube videos. And I think actually for that whole summer, I maybe made 50, 60 videos. I used to make like two videos a day. And I think at the end of it, I kept like 12. I didn't ever really have that much confidence in my videos for a while. I remembered like I had no subscribers. I barely had any views. And I seriously would sit there and look at the views. And if they didn't get like two views in like three hours, I'd take the video down because I was like really stupid back then. I was like, I have no subscribers, but I should be getting 100 views on this video. And in the end, I really wish I would have kept a lot of those videos because I had a lot of songs, a lot of lessons, a lot of covers that I actually put up onto YouTube, but I simply just took them down really for no reason, just because I was really anxious and I was hoping that I would get a lot of views. And if they didn't get views, I wouldn't actually keep them up onto YouTube. But overall, in that summer, I really learned a lot about YouTube and it really helped me in getting used to YouTube. Now, basically when I started though, my main decision was to make covers and original songs and I would do that. When I started out on YouTube, I would just go on to covers that I've actually made on my keyboard. If I knew how to play a song, that's why I would put up time to YouTube. And if I ended up having like an original song or a cover that I knew well, I would also put that up on YouTube. And that's pretty much all I did for YouTube. And one day I did a cover of a song. And I remember some guy went and commented on my video and he said, Will you make a lesson on this? Will you teach how to play the song? And I really had no plans in going into lessons. I think I tried making one like once before into YouTube and it just didn't end up working. So I ended up just pretty much thinking, well, a lesson, I don't really know how to do that. And the guy actually came up and he subscribed to my videos. And I was like, well, this guy's subscribing to my videos. So I should probably make a lesson for this. And really the first lesson that I made had no you know, voice in it. It just pretty much had me playing the piano, showing you the notes. And that was the first lesson that I ever made. And it was really odd because I was like, how can, you know, people make good lessons? I could not make a good lesson when I started up on YouTube. But after that came, I ended up just keeping on posting covers. You know, I didn't really care about lessons anymore. And all of a sudden I made another sound. The guy said, can you teach us how to play that? And I ended up making another lesson, actually a two part lesson for that. And I asked in that video, you know, what the heck, do you have any requests? So I ended up getting a little more requests for some YouTube videos and I slowly was able to really go into the piano lesson part of YouTube. And I ended up making a lot of piano lessons, a lot of them I didn't keep again, but I was able to actually keep that going up till that summer on YouTube. I was able to make a lot of lessons that summer alone, pretty much based on requests and stuff for YouTube. 
Now, really, after that summer, I started to take YouTube very seriously because I was actually able to get subscribers on my channel. I was getting views on some videos. I was able to make a couple of piano lessons that weren't already on YouTube. So I really had, you know, I was getting more views and it was really helping me out a lot onto YouTube. So I decided that I would buy a camera. And really, when I bought that camera, I pretty much said, well, I don't need to make piano lessons anymore because I got a camera. I can make anything I want. And that's pretty much what I did for that whole year. The rest of the year, I just didn't really make that many piano lessons. I simply made original songs and other kinds of videos. And I kind of abandoned that thought because it was really like, well, I don't need to make these anymore. So I'll make one every like six months and that that will be fine. And in the end, I actually realized at the end of last summer that this really wasn't working for me. I really wasn't going anywhere on YouTube simply because I wasn't putting the time and effort to go in onto YouTube. You know, my most viewed videos were piano lessons. I weren't even making them anymore. So who's going to subscribe to somebody who is going to do that? So I decided that I would do something that I've seen on YouTube a lot, which was videos every week. And I decided that piano lessons every week would probably work out for me. So I ended up making my first request video and I started to make piano lessons every week. And after I made my website, I decided that I would actually really pursue into this one week piano lessons thing. And I was able to actually make piano lessons every week and try to keep to that schedule and try to get that to get me views on YouTube. And slowly I was able to get more of an audience on YouTube. And I thank everyone for watching those videos and helping me out on YouTube because it really has helped me out after making those piano lessons every week, if I wouldn't have really gone anywhere, I probably wouldn't still be doing that. So I wanna thank everyone who actually subscribed to my videos because it has helped me out a lot. So pretty much I have really, you know, gotten piano lessons that are getting views on YouTube. I've gotten a lot of subscribers out there who really helped me out a lot by commenting on my videos a lot and doing stuff like that. And overall now on my channel, I've decided that, you know, I really like making piano lessons and I'm going to continue with the one week piano lessons, but I really am also trying to pursue, you know, getting my music up there. So I am trying to make, you know, the songs, the best songs that I can and try to get them up onto YouTube so, you know, you guys can see. And that's really another thing that I'm trying to do on YouTube is actually branch out from piano lessons and original songs. So I'm not getting rid of either of them, but I'm going to try to make them a little more equal and I'm going to try making those kind of videos with original songs because that's something that I'm really devoted to just like making piano lessons. So that is pretty much my video, my story on YouTube and music and everything like that. Hopefully if you watched it all the way here, you didn't get too bored, but Hopefully that video really uh, tells my story and everything along those lines. YouTube is now to 15 minutes and without that, I wouldn't have been able to make this video. So thanks to YouTube for allowing 15 minute uploads for non-partners and thanks for watching this video. I just realized I still have about two minutes left that I just need to randomly talk through to make this video officially 15 minutes long. So right now I'm just simply going to talk some more about other things other than YouTube and piano lessons. So a couple other things that I really like are first of all computers. I'm on a computer half of the day. There's so many things to do on it other than YouTube that I like to do. And overall, I like, you know, checking out things online. I'm able to find out a bunch of stuff. I mean, I wake up so much later, so I like to actually find out all the news online and stuff like that. So overall, being online is pretty much one of my other favorite things to do. I really like being on the computer and doing stuff like that. So that's really another thing that I like to do. I also really like to listen to CDs. I know a lot of people, you know, the digital age is coming and CDs are dying and stuff like that. But there's just something about like CDs that I just would rather have a CD than have a CD on my computer. It's almost like what if my computer crashes, what am I going to have? So I still like to buy CDs. I still like to listen to CDs and do all stuff like that. So that's really just another thing. So yeah, that's pretty much all the time that I really need right now. Sorry again, I just couldn't make a 15 minute long video. So I guess I'll say thanks if you're watching this video this far. Thanks for watching the whole video. Thanks for watching my videos. And again, thanks to YouTube for allowing us to have 15 minutes of upload time 
on YouTube because that's a lot better than 10 minutes just in case, you know, because most videos, let's face it, are longer than 10 minutes if you're doing a tutorial or something. So it's pretty awesome to be over 10 minutes now.